Hi everybody, Carol here. Today I'm going to be making a Father's Day card, but it could be used for any masculine card any time of year. This stamp is called Dapper Dad, and you can tell by the items there that they are very dapper. I uh, mounted it on my acrylic block there and uh, didn't mash it hard enough so it fell off, but I'll stick it back on there and show you how I stamped uh, a few of these images uh, with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and um, these can either be cut out and put on a card, it's very simple cutting on these uh, or just stamped directly onto the card. So um, I did these and then I'm going to do some names. The little square there is for the sentiment since the name of the set is Dapper Dad, if you wanted to use it for someone else, I used to make cards for a lot of people, and I thought of people I knew whose names started with D, like Dan and Don and Doug. Uh, this is the uh, stamp set from Close to My Heart, and uh, these are little alphabet letters, and I use them on the acrylic block. There's Don, Dapper Don, and Dap Dapper, there's the Dapper Dave and David. And there's the sentiment I'm going to use. But the uh, little acrylic um, alphabet stamps are easy enough to line up on your acrylic block and um, then test them out and see if they're set up exactly the way you like the look. Closer together or further apart, depending on how much space you have. Now I'm going to use a stamp positioner for this particular stamp because I have already set up my little rectangle up there, a white sheet of paper with the uh, edging on it with the neutral ink and backed with a black paper. If I hadn't already made that, I could just stamp it anywhere and I wouldn't need the stamp positioner. Um, so do it, you can do, do it either way, stamp it first and then cut it out. So as I've shown in other videos, you line this up, put your handle back down, when you stamp it onto the acrylic piece of paper there or directly onto the paper, you bring your stamp directly down, right nestled up in that corner of your handle and bring it straight down. And uh, then you can see I have some ink on my finger there. <laughs> that was nice to smear it there. Um, but anyway, and then uh, that is the way that one turned out. And um, I'll end up making three of these cards and having different things on them, but uh, this is for Father's Day, which is just around the corner. So I'm showing, and I apologize how this is so off kilter. Uh, someone accidentally hit my tripod and uh, put my camera off what it normally is, and I didn't realize it. So um, we'll just kind of have to bear with that. But I put on a, a red piece of cardstock the size of the card then a slightly smaller piece of black cardstock, and then a slightly smaller yet piece of white cardstock, the one with the stamping on it. And um, lining that up and gluing it down with the uh, Tombow Mono Multi Glue there, it uh, goes on wet and white, but when it dries clear, then it becomes repositionable, and you can move any of those around up and down for days or weeks or months and uh, straighten them up if you need to. Now there is where the sentiment will go. It's not glued down yet, but that will show you. And um, then here comes the other one with the dapper. I will put it, it would fit, I'll put it that way, and I would put it on to, about where that happy birthday sign is. Now another thing I'm going to do since I make extras, I'm going to cut out another bow tie and put it on top of the uh, bow tie in place to give it more dimension. I'll kind of fold those little wings of the bow tie back and uh, glue it down just in the center only. And I'll put some glue on that later. It's not glued down yet and uh, put some glue on uh, the black paper in a minute too. And uh, I had glued the, the uh, Dapper Dude already, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. You may can tell there's a little smudge down at the bottom. And rather than just throw that away, 
I come back in a minute with a jelly roll pin, a white jelly roll pin, and uh, cover that little dot up, and it does just fine. So, uh, think what you can do to save the work that you've already done. Now, I'm showing how I go around the edges of uh, the white uh, sentiments, and the also I went around the edges of the white cardstock. There is a third version of this card. Uh, so, you know, you can place the shoe, the bow tie, the watch, wherever you want to put them. So, and according to the size of your card also. So, uh, now I've got these glued and they're dried and I'm sticking the uh, Father's Day one on. I'm sticking the Dapper Dave one on. And um, then I'll put the little bow tie, as I said a while ago, I will only just glue it right in the middle of the bow tie and that is just to give it some dimension it's not necessary to put it on there uh, I'll lift it up so maybe you can see a little bit of how that sticks up so there they are there are those two it's a simple card but I think very effective I love the stamps I, I think uh, they're very clean and really neat looking and I think any guy would like this card I can't imagine why not so um, Father's Day birthday uh, thinking of you for any guy in your life so thanks for joining me today I wanted to show you this is the size of the card I make four and a half by six and a fourth and here are some still shots again thank you for joining me today I hope you enjoyed, and um, I also hope you just have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.